The other thing, as I've I'd mentioned earlier, which is very worrying, and you know, it's the same with the Hitler's uh, uh, government, was that Hitler was a master of propaganda. Yeah, he even appointed a very famous guy, guy called Joseph Goebbels, as the head of uh, Ministry of Public Enlightenment and Propaganda. Yeah, he had a whole ministry to make sure that they they tell people how to think, they show people how to think, they ban books, yeah, certain books, yeah etc etc and you know it was all being done um, in a very good way yeah because people are being told these are the thoughts that are leading germany to disaster you know they're leading to lack of cohesion you know this is hate speech you know it can lead the country into problems etc etc sound familiar oh yes we are the only country in africa that has an internet police <laughs> yeah we have an internet police you didn't know yeah, social media is monitored. The, the the government, the Jubilee government, has spent a fortune on equipment to monitor uh, social media. Yes, eh? guys are picked up like that uh, poor uh, lady blogger from Kisi. Yes, her Facebook page was monitored, and she was picked up, and life was made hell on earth for her. Okay, yeah. So the country, the the, the big brothers watching everywhere. Even you don't have to go to Kibera, Kibra, and uh, make a you know make a speech like uh, Babu Wino did. Yeah, even if you say your own things in social media, Shariako. Now recently I've been going through uh, my notes uh, on Hitler's regime and its similarities to the Jubilee regime, and uh, you know I was just shaking my head and saying Jubilee. There are some key people in Jubilee who must have read this. Yeah. And uh, that's what I call kutumia masomo vibaya. Hiyo ni kutumia masomo vibaya sana. Okay? Yeah, you get knowledge and you use that knowledge to oppress the people. Okay? Now, you know, it is very sad how most Kenyans, uh, when you mention that propaganda, it's like it's a half a joke, you know, like something to joke about. My friends, propaganda is a very, very serious thing. Okay? On front of your screens, there's a chapter from Har Hitler's or Adolf Hitler's uh, book called Men Kev, which means my struggle in German. Eh? Yeah. Uh, if you'll allow me, I'll just read there's some key sections here which are very interesting and you should read so that you understand how deadly and how damaging propaganda can be. Because the Jubilee government has been all about propaganda. Right from 2013, it has just been all about propaganda. Okay? I read. Propaganda must always address itself to the broad masses of the people. All pro propaganda must be presented in a popular form and must fix its intellectual levels so as not to be above the heads of the least intellectual of those to whom it is directed. Yeah? standard two, standard three, the propaganda should still be able to make sense to them. The art of propaganda consists precisely in being able to awaken the imagination of the public through an appeal to their feelings. You see, I always talk about feelings here, yeah? In finding the appropriate psychological form that will arrest the attention and appeal to the hearts of the national masses. The broad masses of the people are not made up of diplomats or professors of public jurisprudence, nor simply of persons who are able to form reasoned judgment in given cases, but a facilitating crowd of human children who are constantly wavering between one idea and another. <laughs> By the way, you know that is a fact. Most people are children. They don't stop to think. Kwanza here in Kenya, the way we have swallowed some propaganda hook, line, and sinker. And by the way, Yusima Tusi, I'm just stating facts. Anyway, the great majority of a nation is so feminine in its character and outlook that its thought and conduct are ruled by sentiment rather than by sober reasoning. In Kenya, we call that umama. Watch umama, wewe. You've heard people saying that, eh? <laughs> With all due respect to our sisters, eh? yeah. <laughs> anyway, this sentiment, however, is not complex but simple and consistent. It is not highly differentiated but has only the negative and positive notions of love and hatred, right and wrong, truth and falsehood. Now, let me quickly translate that into English. <laughs> what they're simply saying is that propaganda is very easy to fool broad masses of people. All you have to do is make sure your language is so simple that at all you just soma na elewa. Then the other very important thing you need to remember is that to, what successful propaganda is just about feelings. Yeah, it is provoking the feelings of people. Nothing more. 
yeah see at the intellectual you know something which is so complex people have to stand and think ah uh-uh. it is something which just provokes feeling you just say that thing people start feeling yeah either hatred or whatever you want the mostly hatred yeah towards you know your perceived enemy or the enemy you want to be the enemy yeah you know for you to win the political battle and so on and so forth yeah and then of course it says that uh, you know the masses are like children they're just waiting to be guided no na ni kama ngombe zinaenda zote pamoja they all go in one direction and so on and so forth yeah uh and then of course saying that uh, most most populations in the world i mean the general pop- the masses wako na mama mwingi <laughs> yeah anyway this is the whole idea behind propaganda now is this, is this happening in kenya oh yes now you will notice you believe when they want to provoke emotion they normally use one person you know the name of that person raila amolo odinga okay now the feeling amongst most jubilee supporters is that uh, raila is the reason why there's a problem in kenya i think you've heard many times uh, uh, people saying oh raila should retire once raila retires if somebody else takes over like orengo somebody there'll be peace in kenya etc etc yeah in short what jubilee supporters are saying without knowing what they are saying is that uh, raila is only hindrance to them being able to achieve their full objectives you know like ruling kenya forever yeah it's as simple as that and that one i can tell them very early they're wrong yeah they're very wrong they're out of they're out of touch with reality and so on and so forth raila is a great man of course he's at the forefront he has been fighting for so long yeah and his experience in fighting these people of course comes in handy but it does not mean that with raila out of the way things will go their way ah uh-uh. it's nothing like that and i would really recommend you catch uh, my earlier recordings where i did one recording on uh, where tribalism started you know how it was a government project and so on and so forth yeah where all this uh, anti luo propaganda started from yeah because it was deliberate yeah so this thing is planted so firmly in the jubilee supporters hearts that is very easy by just introducing like a small thing just just painting raila in a certain way it raises a lot of emotions anti raila venom and emotions in them yeah now this anti raila venom and emotions blinds them to the person they are supporting yeah so that they are no longer interested in the person they are supporting or how good or bad they are they are more interested in fighting raila and raila side you get my drift that's really exactly what's happening and how propaganda is being used in hitler's germany of course it was directed against the jews and it was very effective because the jews were prospering in germany when others were having a problem so it was very easy to direct hatred towards that side you know it worked very well yeah in fact now on your screens you can see a photograph of the adolf hitler himself yeah taken i think in 1932 june 1932 actually and uh, on his right is a man called hermann goring now hermann goring is a very fascinating guy now hermann goring is the highest ranking nazi official to ever have been tried yeah he was tried and he was found of guilty of uh, crimes against humanity war crimes blah 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 but then the guy hanged himself in his cell before he could actually be executed because he was sentenced to death before could, that could happen he hanged himself in his cell what wow. and you guys say history is boring eh very interesting and anyway, that was just an aside wa kenya tafadhali tufungue macho yeah let's keep our eyes wide open so that we see beyond our favorite political candidate we see beyond those headlines the newspapers are writing yeah some of which are the work of uh, the jubilee propaganda machine yeah and we really need to think now to save ourselves and to save our children for generations to come until next time this is chris kumekucha